try to connect everybody and offices together. Today, he's going to evaluate the second speaker, Judy Ju's C4 speech, Hidden Powers. C4 speech objective is how to say it. Now, let's welcome our president, Joseph. So, so Judy, since I have seen your uh, first three speech, I really see that you have progressed a lot, improved a lot. I remember last time when you gave us this three speech, so you hired me for a table, and you know, oh, this is, you no, know, they're four years. <laughs> but this time you uh, stand on stage with confidence, and you and acted with your audience, like, you, know, you, 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 <laughs> no? Yeah. Well, I heard, I wrote, oh, oh, why will be pointed? Oh. <laughs> so, I really love your speech. First is that your core value is very clear. So in the first, uh, when you open a speech, you say that everyone has the in can influence others, especially on children. And mm -hmm. then in the following paragraph, you use you give us two examples about how you yourself to influence the children. And because it's your own story, and it make us, makes the speech more convincing. And in the end of the speech, you give us a, a quote about uh, watch your words before, watch your thoughts before it becomes your word. It's about your core value. You know, we have to look on our action. So I think your core is very clear and it makes your speech easy to follow. And the second part I like about your speech is that since this is a C4 speech, so your words, your words you select must that everyone can clearly see what you want to convey. So I think you use some good verbs like the girls whipping the sword or <laughs> the girls step the sword onto his brother's nose. And also, like uh, when you see the, the girls and the brothers do the action, you stunned. So these words are active verbs. It means that when you use this verb, you do something. And it makes audience can clearly see what you want to convey. And also you use two vivid examples to explain how you influence uh, your children. Uh, not your children. How do you know your children? <laughs> wow. But still, I have some suggestions. First is uh, when you acting your role play, uh, I see you uh, not changing your position. So if you want to make your speech better, more vivid, maybe you can change your position. Like in here, I'm uh, the brother. I'm yo at you. It's all your fault. And then you can change your change your position to here, and now you are a, how to say, it, the adult, and say, go to do your thing, you know, more mature. And then the audience can know who you are and on the stage more clearly. And the other one is, uh, the last paragraph, you say that watch your words become, watch your thoughts become, before it becomes your words, and watch your thoughts before it becomes the, the, the. And because uh, this sentence is a little bit long, so I can, <laughs> I see that. I can remember all the things. All, I can remember all the things. So maybe you can choose one, one sentence that is really meaningful uh, for you to just use one sentence, not all. So that's all my evaluation. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.